this oceanic being. This life. When you disappear completely into it. And there's nothing left. It's so magical. It's so joyful. It's so freeing. What a what a fucking relief. This is the story of me, and I can freely use the word me because it's empty anyway. <laughs> um, so after 2000, the 9th of June, 2022, I had the, the shift into non-dual awareness. You could say enlightenment, you could say Brahman, as in sort of third path in Buddhism, the realization of everything being everything. I felt my my whole being go into the blender, you could say, and blend with everything. And yet there was this this self left. It was like the big self. It was like consciousness that was left. And I knew I still had Kundalini energy. So I knew it wasn't done, you could say. Well, there is no done. Life, life continues. Right. But I knew even that the insight and the energetics were not done. So I kept looking and even, you know, continued my intense meditation a couple of hours a day. I continued looking at my suffering. I continued and even started sometimes new, new things like more doing more inquiry. And then this summer somewhere, as in the summer of 2024, there was this moment in the shower where I realized that I don't need to dissolve because I'm already that. And it brought me to fourth path, anatta or nothingness, Buddhist enlightenment. No self, where this nothingness aspect was really clear, where I felt in the void and just one with this voidness. It was a nice sensation, actually. I like the, the nothingness sensation, the voidness sensation. It's like, you know, it's like this. Yeah, it's like beautiful emptiness, beautiful emptiness. But even then my Kundalini energy continued. And I knew that this wasn't the place to rest, let's say, even though this is all we're talking about deep realization. And I'm not, not saying that to, to, you know, I did not in any way create these shifts, right? All I did was look inside and trying to be with what is and trying to surrender to what is and let it happen, but also dedicate myself to it. I dedicated myself to it knowing that I don't control the outcome, but I do it anyway. I inquire anyway. I look inward anyway. I meditate anyway. 
not because there was there was no controller left already but still it wanted to be looked at and then i was on the bike a couple of weeks later and then i had a sort of poof like sensation out of nowhere in the crown chakra and <clears throat> the voidness was gone it seemed to have merged with the everythingness and it felt like a small shift in a way but i was absolutely out of the out of the void I felt that the void and the everythingness and those aspects of reality were just gone. It was another, it was a different perception of reality. One which I described as going back to normalcy, just being normal dude in the world, feeling without any realization, but also no self. And yet still, I had Kundalini energy and I felt that there was still suffering. I eased up a little bit on practice. But I knew that the only way forward actually was seen after, after a little bit of that, that I just continue. I was dedicated to this anyway. And who's dedicated? I would, nothing was left but the movement. It was, it was walking itself home, you could say. And then I was looking into um, work, which has been a big theme of mine in this whole deconstruction of the belief system, you could say. Work was a big one. I looked into work and felt some need to work Set with that, ask why, and I found the lack belief in myself that I found thousands of times. It was big root, big root. I'm not good enough. And somehow, When I looked this time, it wanted to dissolve completely, and it did. And with that, of course, the need to work. And then I understood that that lack belief and the belief system itself was recreating itself, you could say. And created also one thing which I still felt was left, was a sense of I, a feeling around the navel, in the navel. Sense of I. And it was looked at automatically because everything that comes up is looked at. It's seen. And the sense of self was seen. And it dropped. And with that, whether you believe it or not, all sense of, du all sense of duality was dropped. There was no sense of self anymore. There was no felt sense of observer. No felt sense of 
looking at something. No subtle, 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 subtle sense of self anymore. Because before, even in the Nata, I felt what was happening was that the sense of self is like a filter through which reality goes here in the body-mind. When that fil filter is super clean, it feels like there's no, no filter. But if you look closely, you'll see in some, some senses there's still a little bit of flimsy filter there. Yes, you can see that. And the Kundalini helped me with that. I died into it fully. Fully dead. Yet fully alive. It could fully flow without a center, without a me, without an idea of self, without everything, without nothing. Totally absorbed. Well, that's the story. That's all, folks. I don't know what started this. I don't know what finished it. <laughs>